inserted corner seam. Apart from constructional seams, there are also decorative seams which add aesthetic beauty to the garment or product. Inserted corner seam is one such seam which, though part of the construction of the garment or product, adds to its beauty as well. And it is this inserted corner seam that we are going to learn in this class. Objectives At the end of this class, you will be able to identify an inserted corner seam. So, an inserted corner seam. What is an inserted corner seam? The inserted corner seam is a type of a plain seam. This is what an inserted corner seam looks like. Inserted corner seam could be used for a decorative purpose or to fix a torn garment. Let's see how to do an inserted corner on a sample. Procedure of sewing an inserted corner seam. You will need the following items to do this sample. Cotton fabric, straight ruler, tailor square, straight pins, measuring tape, tailor's chalk, shears, small scissors, contrasting thread, iron, sewing machine. Now let's begin. Step 1. Measure, mark and cut out the sample fabric pieces. At the outset, take two layers of cotton fabric. Measure and draw 10 by 10 square on it with the help of a ruler pattern square, measuring tape, and a tailor's chalk. Using the shears, cut the market squares. Then also, cut a 4x4 four four square from the 10x10 ten ten square. To replace this square, we cut a square from another fabric with 5x5, five five, that is 4x4, four four, adding one seam allowance. Step 2. Mark the seam allowance. Measure and mark a half inch seam allowance along the side edge of the cut out bigger fabric piece with the help of a pattern square measuring tape and tailor's chalk. Now, place the bigger pieces on top of the smaller square with the right side together and the marked seam allowances on the upper side. Then, pin them together. Step 3. Stitch the seam. Now, we will start stitching. Press the reverse stitch button and start the reverse stitch to prevent the seam from opening. Leave the reverse stitch button and stitch from the beginning of the seam line with a normal stitch length 
till the intersection of the corner. Step 4. Stitch the inserted corner. Keeping the needle down, lift the presser foot. Then, with little scissors, cut the upper cloth piece diagonally 1 mm up to where the needle is piercing the fabric. While holding the bottom piece of fabric, pivot the top and bottom pieces so that the seam line drawn on the bigger piece is aligned with the other edge of the square and sew down that side. After pivoting, but before you start sewing, really make sure that the bulk of the fabric is out of the way of the needle so that you get a smooth corner. Snip the thread with a pair of small scissors and remove the straight pins. Step 5. Press the seam. Press the seam open gently with an iron. Finally, you have your sample with the inserted corner seam ready. Please note, here we are using a contrasting thread for demonstration purposes only, so that it is visible, but otherwise one could use a thread matching to the fabric. With that, we come to the end of this class. Let's recall what we have learned in this class. Inserted corner seam could be used for a decorative purpose or to fix a torn garment. Procedure of sewing the inserted corner seam, let's review its basic steps. Step 1. Measure, mark and cut out the sample fabric pieces. Step 2. Mark the seam allowance. Step 3. Stitch the seam. Step 4. Stitch the inserted corner. Step 5. Press the seam. This is the inserted corner seam. So now you have learned all about the inserted corner seam. Take our next class to learn about simple piping.